Alright, hello guys, uh, this is Zef here, and what I have on hand with me right now is the Xperia RS from Sony Mobile Communications. Uh, okay, as you can see over here, the boot up's a little bit different. Uh, on the day before, Sony Mobile Communications released the beta version of the Ice Cream Sandwich software. So, I've managed to actually get it up and running, and very my very... Well, much thanks goes to the guys over at the XDA Developer Forums and the FXP team because thanks to them I've gotten Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and I've managed to get the Google applications installed onto the beta ROM down here otherwise they will be unavailable alright as you can see the lock screen over here is different you can access the camera from the lock screen but I'm just gonna unlock the screen over here anyway let it prepare the internal memory and I think we're done yeah I'm using a different uh, launcher over here very smooth transition with a cylinder uh, with a cylinder effect over here with go launcher and I'll just bring you guys over into the settings over here Okay, this is the layout for the ice cream sandwich for the Xperia Arc S. So going all the way down, as you can see over here, the Android version is Android version 4. 4.0.3, and might be something higher than that uh, on the actual release for the Xperia Arc S itself. Turning on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is a simple affair. You just have to slide this over to... Uh, you just have to slide it over to the other side and yeah turn it on again and yeah as you saw just now tapping on that is how you actually go into the settings itself and for the bluetooth see it's not visible so you just have to tap on that now it's visible to other devices for two minutes we can actually change that as well okay we rename the phone from here show the receive files and visibility timeout this is something that we didn't have in the previous uh, firmware in 2.3.4 so you can increase it to five minutes or one hour or you can just make it never time out period mm, all right out, out 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 we go data usage this monitors the amount of data traffic that's go been going in and out of your phone so you can set a mobile data limit but i don't think we have to worry too much about that because uh, over here in singapore the telcos actually provide 12 gigabytes of data all right and yeah it does tell you all the applications that have been using the data marking it up quite a bit hmm call settings sound well they didn't have too much of a difference over here xloud is already implemented properly and let's see over in display though we have one difference over here and you see this finally isn't it some people have been complaining that fonts may be too small on android phones so we have the option of actually changing the font sizes this time around with the ics firmware so yeah placing it into small makes all the other text smaller and placing it large makes things just big right let's compare it to the home screen that's the text size over there let's go back inside the settings font size normal and let's go home yeah the text size has been reduced let me change the effects of that actually change it back to default don't like the home screen to be like that all right that feels a lot more natural oh yes and one more thing I'll just switch that back to cylinder over here. Forgot to touch on that. Or better yet, sphere. Thanks to one additional feature that's actually found inside Ice Cream Sandwich. Settings. Alright, about phone, no. Wait, one step above that. Above that. Developer options. See this over here? Force GPU rendering. So basically, the graphics processor is finally used 
in rendering the UI, which I don't think happens in ice cream. Uh, no way, I don't think happens in gingerbread, but I might be wrong, so do correct me on that. So it's bloody smooth compared to using the same settings over at Go Launcher under gingerbread. Same thing here. This is basically smoother than any of the other phones running gingerbread right now. Smooth 30 frames a second I, from what my eyes can see. Right, swapping the effects out back to default. Don't need anything too fancy on the home screen. Oh, yeah. And Chrome Beta works on this version of ice cream sandwich for the Xperia Arc S. Connected devices and such. Oh yeah, that goes to remind me. Uh, this is the default camera application over here. A little bit of changes comes to onto the layout. So by default, the scenes were set to auto. And you have the three sweet panorama and the sweet panorama over here. And different effects settings. You can change the exposure of the camera over here. Up and down. Toggle flash. Amongst other things, too bad we don't get ISO control over here, which we have over in the Xperia S. Capturing method, different types, camera key only or touch capture. Wait, let me change that off. Oh yeah, now I'm a criminal. Uh, different resolutions available, the same ones that you find in the original camera settings of the Xperia Art S. Uh, let's see, self-timer scenes, exposure value, white balance, metering, and yeah, the focus mode is now done a little bit differently though, so remember in the old one, we have to actually keep touching on where we want it to actually shoot on and then let go for it to shoot. Uh, well, right now, as long as I point it over here and say aim it in another direction, it will auto-focus on that particular spot itself, making that area the main focus of the image which is pretty cool and they've actually upgraded uh, the version of the gallery as well so that's pretty nice if you uh, okay never mind that's a software bug that's not supposed to stretch that way okay if you remember in the old android gallery we can't stretch an image up to its full size without it looking garbled or pixelated or just stretched because the, the gallery just simply can't show the uh, image in its full size different story with this one double tap and yeah you get the full size of the image no distortions whatsoever something you simply cannot do with the gingerbread gallery and yeah you have you do have the play on device option so yeah I'm not really connected to anything right now though so that's the option you'd be using to actually throw your image over here to say a smart HD TV that's actually connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the phone. Same thing goes for movies as well. Through the gallery you can also pass movies onto the screen wirelessly. So yeah, no need for that HDMI cable as long as the bitrate of the movie is reasonable. Just remember DLNA on the RS is actually limited to 7.2 megabits a second. Anything higher than that though and you will stutter quite a bit. And I guess that's about it. I'm not sure what else to cover. If there's anything that you guys want to know about the ice cream sandwich ROM that's on the Arc right now, ask away, I guess. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.